So Shane Dawson released an extended trailer for his series about Jake Paul. And it's interesting to say the least. Yes, I know I look different. Sorry, it wasn't planned. Uh, I'm not used to it. Anyway, on to the video. So Shane Dawson released this trailer and after the first teaser trailer, I never made a video and was asking the question if Shane Dawson would ruin Jake Paul's career. And I saw this video. I enjoy iNavis content. I was like, I don't see how you got that out of the trailer. Now I get it. Because with this, I'll just play a clip now actually. Why does it have to be fucking like, wait, fucking, you can't say this. Oh, fucking ding ding, my phone goes off. You can't say this. And bing bing, wanna FaceTime, but don't record it. Dong dong. Like, I literally can't fucking do this. It looks like the potential harm to Jake Paul is very great. I don't mean it's great that it's happening, I mean, there's a great chance that that could be harm to Jake Paul basically just by going behind the scenes and filming what he is actually like without these rules and whatnot. There's a mention of a hidden camera uh, in this little clip with Nick Crompton. Well, I'm not suggesting putting a secret camera if that's what you're trying to get on me just then. Now, of course, who knows if it actually happens now apart from all that and all the potential exposing of the paul family and whatnot that could come from that i am curious about the time frame of when this happened i'm guessing maybe it happened straight after the tanacon thing and the reason why it's taken a while would probably be due to editing considering it's an eight-part series i'm curious as to whether or not this has anything with the preparation for the boxing match, or if it doesn't. Considering Nick Crompton is actually in the trailer and obviously in the series to some extent, it makes it a bit confusing because Nick Crompton left Team 10 sometime early this year or earlier this year. He was meant to be fighting Bazinga from the Cybermen before the KSI match. Now, of course, there's going to be people who don't like Shane Dawson. Uh, I personally have been watching him for a couple of years. I remember his Christina Grimmy video, but I'm not a fan who watches all of his videos religiously or anything. If there's something that seems interesting, I'll watch it. I, I've watched, I think, one or two parts of his thing about Graveyard Girl. I watched the whole Tanacon thing. The unfortunate side of the Tanacon thing which could be present in this new series, is that he showed, I suppose, potential bias in the Tanacon series. And I think that was because he was friends with Tana herself. And that kind of skewed his judgment. And hopefully there is no bias going into this. Because the truth is that if Shane wants to make Jake Paul look bad, he will. If he wants to make him look good, he can also do that. Now, I don't know if there is any good in Jake Paul personally. I haven't actually watched him apart from his everyday bro. That's the only thing I've seen of his, honestly. So I can't really comment, but it'll be interesting to see where the Shane Dawson video series goes. And I think that by the end of it, it will all make a lot more sense as to why what's happened has happened. And I'm not suggesting that people will uh, sympathise towards Jay Paul at all. I just think that there is a process behind everything. And then there's always behind the scenes stuff you don't see, whether it's worse or better, whether it's more calculated or whether it's more friendly than it's portrayed in a video and there's even potential uh, that it's just all for shock value and that they just want to create shock for publicity and then just keep going from there because though Jay Paul has done things that has been condemned by many YouTubers 
uh, and Logan as well, they have actually gotten a decent following, a very decent following, in fact, on YouTube. And I do believe that that is due to publicity solely. Given Shane's Tanacon videos and Graveyard Girl videos, that he should be able to do this series justice and I will be watching it. There'll be a link below to the trailer if you want to watch it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for more content.